Hey guys, Winston for Carbide 3D here. Now, more than ever, we think it's important to provide people with the tools they need to succeed. We've been working on Carbide Create Pro in the background for a while now, and it's finally time to show it off a little. Carbide Create Pro differs from the regular free version of Carbide Create in that it adds 3D modeling capabilities, but not in a technical parametric sense. You're not going to use it to engineer a mechanical contraption, this is nothing like Fusion 360. Instead, it's geared towards more woodworking and artistic applications. Here's how it works. Carbide Create Pro builds off the foundation of the regular version. You can start in the design workspace and use basic 2D geometry as the basis for more complex 3D shapes. Closed vectors can be built up in layers that we call components. Components come in three flavors, flat, angled, and rounded. This defines the transition style around the border of a shape. Angled components create sort of a chamfer around the component. Rounded components result in a fillet. You can constrain the height and angle of these modifiers if you don't, for example, want a square to be extruded all the way up into a complete pyramid. These components stack up and build on each other, either constructively or destructively. So, for example, I can create a beveled body, and then inside of that I can make a dished recess in which I can carve a design. Since Carbide Create Pro uses grayscale to represent height maps, you can import and superimpose other grayscale relief maps or height maps just like the components you created before. If you bring in height maps as textures, you have additional control over these features like how they're tiled or how they're oriented. To go along with these new modeling features in Carbide Create Pro, we also have new toolpaths, 3D Rough and 3D Finish, and these do exactly what the names suggest. 3D Roughing will pocket out your shape with a certain amount of margin left around your model. 3D Finishing will use a parallel raster-style toolpath to finish your model. Just apply these to a contour that you want the toolpaths to work within. These tools are relatively straightforward, but they do form the building blocks from which you can make far more complex things. You could, for example, use Carbide Create Pro to carve out some decorative details into your woodworking projects, or perhaps machine a topographic carving from elevation data you found online. In the coming weeks, we'll be putting out more content to show you how to do these things, but in the meantime, you're more than welcome to try out Carbide Create Pro for yourself. And in light of the current global situation, we wanted to give everyone a free year subscription for Pro. There will be a link in the description below where, for a limited time, you can claim a license code regardless of whether or not you own a Carbide 3D machine. Hopefully, this will provide some of you a much-needed distraction or even a new capability that might help further your business if you use CNC machines for more than a hobby. If you run into any issues or have any suggestions using Carbide Create Pro, feel free to send us a message or leave a comment in the forums. This tool, like everything else we're committed to supporting, will continue to improve over time. Good luck, have fun, and stay safe machining, folks.